guys are good teammates and you have a good team. How do you remedy a disagreement, though, when it comes to a difference of opinions and maybe layout or design? Uh, how do you guys handle that as a couple, but, you know, as business partners as well? So it's super simple. Mika is always right. That's it. That's so That's true. true. Right? <laughs> it's different, though. I, I want to go back to that because that is not true. <laughs> I mean, it is. We were doing spec homes, so yeah. I basically said, let's pick the finishes that we're going to put this product on the market, sell it at a top dollar, make a profit, great. Working with homeowners is a totally different angle. You have to be a great listener, but when you get to those points where there's just a, dis a disagreement and they're not seeing eye to eye, it's almost like you're a, a counselor in a sense. I yeah. mean, there's always going to be a middle ground of compromise, and you just have to figure out what that is with, with that particular client. Um, but I really like to over-prepare people before the process starts so that when these obstacles appear, they're, they're aware of it. You know, we can get through it. Um, so I think over-preparation is, is really important. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of over-preparing, you know, Mika, you do a super cool interactive field trip with clients oh, called the yeah. Tour. Why is this step so important? You know, I think it's really, it's one thing to see a picture online or to be on Pinterest. I feel like when you walk through a space and you're actually experiencing it, you're seeing the finishes, you can touch them. You, it really, it just ties it all together. And I find that sometimes people will tell me their first wish list. And then by the end of this process, when they walk to their home, a lot, like 60% of those things have changed. So wow. it's really important to experience. Um, those details and then also you know budget budget's a big one so mm. you can want like a million dollar home but if you have a budget of three hundred thousand, we have to figure out how to make that happen yeah a lot of times you know they, they have a steak appetite with a hamburger budget so we got to try to make their hamburger budget look like a steak something like that and now i'm hungry <laughs> yeah no now i'm starving well in one episode we actually see a client that couldn't decide between vinyl or carpet flooring for her bedrooms and changed her mind almost what seemed like the last minute does this happen a lot and and how do you deal with last minute changes like this when the job has sort of already commenced so you know in the beginning when you're doing the preliminary design meetings you know you've got some time to play with not a whole lot of time right um and some changes are going to have a dollar amount attached to them so if i've ordered all the flooring and i can't return or um that can be a factor too. So there's a deadline where it's like, okay, now it's going to cost you money to make this change. Mm -hmm. um, so I think the inspiration tours do help with that because they feel more confident making those decisions. Um, but yeah, you kind of have to let the client, I have to get firm sometimes. I'm like, look, you have like one day more to let me know, sign off on the dotted line and let's get this thing rocking and rolling. Otherwise we can't hit the deadline. Yeah. Well, you know, you guys have such a feel-good show, and something I really love about it is we see your clients sort of get this special gift, whether it's a surprise backyard or a craft room. Who came up with this idea of this special project, and has anyone ever hated it? Ooh. Ooh, girl. You Stay tuned. No, 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 Interesting. No, okay. No. <laughs> Mika and I, I don't know, when we meet people, we, uh, we get to know them very quickly. And um, sometimes we see eye to eye on what the special project is going to be. And sometimes it takes me a little convincing to tell Mika which special project we want. Sometimes, if you've seen in the episodes, we both have a good idea for a special project. And we have to figure out how we can do both. Um, so we really want that special touch when they come home to really feel customized for them. And I think we've done a good job with that. Um, there hasn't really been a time where they've hated it. At least they haven't said anything to know, us right? yet. Hmm. And so they're acting really well. No, and a lot of it too, um, when we are brainstorming those special projects, we're really trying to make this space more personable. So, mm -hmm. you know, by that time, we've spent a lot of time with them. You get to know them. Um, so we feel pretty confident when we make those decisions that this is something that's going to enhance their life. It's going to add value to the home. And it's going to give it that extra, you know, touch of personality. Like when we did that dock for Wendy and Bob, I mean, they flipped out. They were almost more excited about the dock than they were about the house. 
But, you know, these are brand new construction homes. And when a family walks into them, if you don't do it right, it can feel stale and, and just right. kind of too new. So we like to bring in, you know, family photos, maybe some old furniture pieces from their old house, and then something that really speaks to them like a special project. So um, that's one of probably our favorite parts of, of working on these projects. It's a surprise. Shows. Yeah, it's, it's always really. a great surprise. Well, you guys are such a breath of fresh air during this isolation <laughs> time. Brian, Mika. Thank you so oh, thank much you. for chatting with me today. I really yeah, appreciate thank you. it. Thank appreciate you. It. Thanks, you guys. 100 Day Home airs Sundays at 10 p.m. on HGTV.